Hey guys, in this video I'm going to try to talk about the uh, model windows. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, it's for example this type of behavior when you click a link and a pop-up uh, appears. So uh, the idea behind this is that you can add any content you want as long as it's uh, placed inside a section which is marked as a model window then you have to link the section with the button so let's start uh, playing with this uh, feature so for example in this case this button doesn't do anything let's just start by creating a new let's just edit the page with uh, this page with page builder and instead of creating a new uh, new um, section I'm just going to grab for example this section I'm going to edit its uh, settings and go to advanced you can see right here this uh, toggle and uh, the inline model window option I'm going to enable it and you can specify a window size the models width currently it's set to 1200 if you want this uh, pop-up to be uh, auto uh, auto auto opened and um, you can specify if you want it uh, immediately after a delay of uh, a certain amount of seconds and when the user scrolls halfway down on the page so uh, let's just first uh, start by uh, simply saving this oh, sorry and you'll immediately notice this label right here which specified the model that this section is actually a model model window I'm going to publish this and you will notice that if I click on view page um, you can see that that certain section is not displayed so it's only being displayed in the um, edit page builder mode so that's great now let's uh, start linking that button with this section so first thing I want to do is um, click on these uh, sections options and click on advanced oh sorry help and here you can copy the uh, sections unique ID so I'm going to click and copy that ID and I'm going to for example in this uh, scenario with this button you can uh, change it in the Kalia options uh, call to action and here we have the link for the call to action uh, button in header so first we're going to paste paste the ID but first we need to add the uh, hash symbol is very important this basically specified that it's a link so then uh, select the model inline content is very important this one uh, as well so I'm going to save and I'm just going to refresh the front end now it should work as you can see the section is being uh, displayed uh, right here I'm going to uh, adjust the width let's say 900 don't worry if uh, it displays like this in the edit page builder mode uh, in the front end it should be uh, sized properly so as you can see 
it has 900 pixels in uh, width. Now, you can also, uh, if you want, for example, to link, uh, for example, I don't know, a certain button from the uh, another element. Again, just click on the options, uh, button options, for example, in this uh, element right here, and specify model in line with the custom link. Or if you create a button element, again, make sure to create it and specify the model inline content target it's the most important part okay so now um, let's just try a different uh, setting and just for the sake of this uh, tutorial I'm just going to switch back to 1200 and I'm going to say uh, auto pop-up immediately so I'm going to say save publish and I'm going to refresh this page and the pop-up should appear right away as you can see it did then you can um, specify after a certain delay of seconds and you can specify the delay right here or if you want when the user scrolls halfway down the page so for example if I hit on publish and refresh this page it doesn't matter how much time you spend only when I will uh, get to this part of the scroll the pop-up will appear as you can see it did not sure why in this uh, position but I will investigate so um, that's about it uh, this is how to add the uh, model window section and you can pretty much link it from uh, everywhere in the team and you can also add any content you want of course do not abuse this one because the content is hidden and uh, it doesn't perform well with uh, JavaScript uh, situations so um, try not to abuse it so thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me and you if you uh, also have any uh, problems with this uh, feature feel free to uh, subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one